Hey everyone, in this video we're going to do some very high speed machining, pushing end mills way past their rated speeds just for fun. So if you've watched my DMC2 Mini detailed specifications video, you may have noticed that I mentioned that we upgraded the DMC2 Mini with higher power stepper motors than the original DMC2 had, just to help with added torque and speed. And now we'll see how those bigger motors translate to real life performance gains on the DMC2 Mini. So what I'm going to do is machine this 6061 aluminum test part with the correct speeds and feeds for a 4mm 3 flute carbide end mill as calculated from the machiningdoctor.com calculator. But I'm going to crank just the feed rate of the machining operations up all the way to 10,000 millimeters per minute rather than the recommended roughly 3,200 millimeters per minute. The result is obviously that we're going to cut around three times faster than our usual already pretty fast speed but at the expense of most likely breaking the end mill much sooner than it normally would last. This part I'm making has a facing operation on top with a 4mm end mill followed by some pockets and adaptive clearing to remove the bulk of the material and then a final slow finishing pass on the walls and floors of everything. I'm using a basic uncoated 3 fluid carbide end mill which is straight out of the end mill set I sell alongside my machines. So let's head over to the machine now and see how that goes.
So everything looks pretty good here. The finishes look great and I'm surprised the end mill held up without any issues or overheating, which is of course very much helped by the flood coolant. I couldn't help but feel something was missing though, so I decided to add a chamfer to the sharp 90 degree edges. This was done with a new origin point in Fusion 360 from the previous operation, so I needed to reprobe on a known set of surfaces to run this chamfer operation accurately. And here is the finished part. It looks great, and the floors and walls are very smooth, but the toolpath lines are evident on the floor from certain angles when the light hits it right. The surface is smooth enough that I can just barely feel the lines with my fingernail, and this might be a sign that the end mill was getting dull at the tips of the flutes, because I know with the same new end mill I can get cleaner looking floor surfaces easily. I actually did this entire video twice, the first time with a smaller part, but then I decided it just felt too small, so I made a larger version, which surprisingly took about twice as long to machine, even though it's about four times the size. So that's all for this video, be sure to watch some more of our CNC examples, and check out SheriffDMC.com if you're interested in getting yourself a DMC2 Mini for your projects. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.